Hi, and welcome to a new hotel review from Wanderlust Reports. If you caught last week's video, you know I've been exploring the vibrant city of Bangkok. After checking out some of the best four-star hotels in the city, today we're turning up the luxury dial. I'm thrilled to take you on an in-depth tour of one of Bangkok's most iconic and opulent palaces, the Shangri-La Hotel. In the heart of Bangkok, by the Shao Phraya River, the Shangri-La Hotel is the epitome of elegance and grandeur. Join me as I explore its stunning rooms and exceptional amenities. Whether you're planning a visit or just dreaming of a luxurious getaway, you won't want to miss this. Let's dive in. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The Shangri-La Bangkok has great grades everywhere. Will I have the same feelings about it? Nestled along the majestic Sha Phraya River, near the Taksin Bridge, and conveniently located by the Sapan Taksin BTS station and ferry stop, the Shangri-La Hotel stands as one of the oldest and most iconic palaces in the city. Let's get inside. As you step in the lobby of the Shangri-La Hotel, you're immediately greeted by an atmosphere of refined elegance and opulence. The service I received by reception staff was just top-notch. The lobby space features luxurious marble flooring, intricate chandeliers and lavish floral arrangements. High ceilings and large windows create an airy feel. There's a nice cafe in the lobby, overlooking the swimming pool. It also offers sweeping views of the Shao Phraya River. This lobby definitely combines luxury and comfort perfectly, setting the tone for an unforgettable stay. I had initially booked a deluxe river view room in the Shangri-La wing of the hotel. But as a Shangri-La Circle member, I had a voucher which enabled me to be upgraded. Here is a Shangri-La Wing Premier Balcony Room. A 42 square meter spacious room with windows all around, providing an exceptional experience. At the top of this building is the rooftop bar made famous by the movie The Hangover Part 2. There are nice views on this side. However, the standout feature of this room is the balcony. I spent hours there, enjoying the view of the Shao Phraya River traffic, while savoring the complimentary drinks from the minibar. Let's see the rest of the room. The 
As you would expect, the bed and pillows are really comfortable. There's a power outlet by the bed, which is something I'm always looking for. As I mentioned, everything that is in the mini bar is free. If coffee is just Nescafe, they provide a good selection of tea. But for a luxury hotel, they could provide a Nespresso coffee machine though. Like the rest of the room, the bathroom looks a bit dated, but it is very spacious and features both a bathtub and a separate shower. True to Shangri-La's standards, the amenities are both plentiful and high quality. In addition to the balcony, another great feature of this premier room is this, a bathtub with a view. There's also a rain shower. The bathrooms are super practical for enjoying the two magnificent swimming pools. The safe, large enough for my 15 inches laptop, is conveniently placed at a comfortable height so you don't have to bend down. The in-room dining menu is extensive, making it a great idea to have a bite on the balcony while enjoying the river view. And if you don't want food for the body, you can indulge in food for the soul. But if you want my advice, just a few steps from the Changrila wing entrance, you'll find Jack's Bar, a typical Thai eatery on a pier over the river. I recorded this just 5 minutes after waking up in the morning. Isn't that a great way to start the day? What about the Wi-Fi? Will you be able to do all that you want on the internet? Well, for sure you will. This is an extra fast Wi-Fi, the best I've ever recorded in a hotel in Thailand. So what are my feelings about the room? It's a great room. Excellent mattress, great view from the balcony or from the bathtub, free mini bar offering a wide choice. The only drawback is it's a bit dated. There are two swimming pools, one in each wing. The one at the Shangri-La wing is stunning, set in a lush tropical garden, 
just above the shower prior. You can get a nice Thai massage just near the river. Honestly, is there any other hotel that offers a better place to relax by the pool after a long day of exploring Bangkok? At the Krung Tap Wing, the other swimming pool is smaller, but it might be a better choice if your main goal is only to swim. Of course, there's also a large and well-equipped fitness room. But sorry, I was asked not to film inside. In the pathway separating both wings, there's also a beauty salon. It's quite a long pathway. It leads to the third floor of the Krungtep Wings lobby. That's where you go for the spa or the BTS. It's a very nice lobby too here. The spa here has a great reputation. I didn't try it, but the aroma around it was superb. Let's go and get breakfast.
For breakfast, you get to choose between sitting inside, which can be a bit noisy, or outside by the Shao Praia River. I chose outside. I won't go into detail about everything you can find here for breakfast, but suffice it to say that in both quantity and quality, it's a great breakfast buffet.
and if it was not enough, you also have French jam on your table. So, how much did I pay? The deluxe room with Riverview price was 269 euro or 294 dollars. But with my Hotels.com membership, I got a 229 euro night for free. So I only paid 40 euro or 44 dollars in total. And I was upgraded to a premier room with a balcony. This is one of the best reviews I've ever given. The location, the superb room with its view, the great breakfast and top-notch service. Everything was perfect. If I have to complain about something, well, the room is a little bit dated. And I didn't stay long enough.